been studying postgraduate diploma in business enterprise. Um, it's a one and a half years course and um, six months of uh, business class and then one year research program. I want to set up my own consultancy in India, education consultancy. Because of that I came here to study the PG diploma in business enterprise. Studies are going good. Uh, business is not new for me because in India I was studying economics. I was doing masters in economics but in the real time I got scholarship here so I'm studying here. Yeah, it, it did make sense for me to go for the postgraduate business course uh, given my background into um, I mean the, the, the economics that I've studied back in New Delhi. I want to study Bachelor of Nursing and in here there is an uh, English um, free course so it's very cheap and I think there is now a lot of Chinese people so um, my English can improve very quickly. Look course I'm studying is Certificate in Travel so it's a level 3 and 4 to get me the travel agent job I want. SIT I found on the internet and it is one of the top 20 government polytechnics and my course is also approved by the New Zealand Qualification Authority. I came here and decided to take up environmental management because there's just so many amazing places around in Chicago to see and here I am. <laughs> so, uh, moving over to Invercargill is nice, people are very friendly and everybody is there to help you. Uh, coming to New Zealand was the best decision I have made in my life. Like people are very friendly here, very open minded. It's very peaceful, it's very good for you to study. It's my personal experience, maybe I'm lucky but I find people very friendly. It's 50,000 people living here so it's a small city but quite nice and uh, peace and quiet and people is very friendly. I, I like the city. As I uh, stayed longer, I understood the culture and everything. I haven't had any problems with racism. I haven't been made to feel as if I was any different from any one of the local people here. They've all been very welcoming. Now I really appreciate that it's very quiet and nice. It also, living expenses also not so expensive as you compare to other places in New Zealand. So overall, Invercargill is very best place. It's a completely different way of teaching as compared to ours, where in Nepal, it's most, mostly in the South Asian countries, it's all textbook based. In India, it is like theory, and in here, theory plus practical. Other, I can say that 70% is practical. Uh, after the end of the year, we have a final exams, but here we have an assignment system. Uh, India's study is uh, very like theoretical. There's a lot of theoretical knowledge with no practical reference. In China, it's always large. And classroom. But here you have to come over and do your own research and you have access to your tutors 24-7. In practical I can learn more and theory it will be like I just have to read and then I'll forget. Here is a very easy system uh, as compared to the Indian system. But my course is like very practical. It also helps in getting the job after finishing the course also. It's, it's a really nice way of uh, learning. It's a completely different experience for me. If you want to study, then Invercargill is the best place because it is a very quiet place. And like you can enjoy here, uh, you can play the cricket also. There is a ground also, Southland cricket ground. So we have a stadium, an uh, indoor stadium, where they have netball, uh, basketball, tennis courts and the cycle um, arena. Um, and we have for um, other sports as well. So I find it very impressive for a small city like this, they emphasize much on sports. According to my view, all the facilities are available in Invercargill. And it is not so crowded, so it's peaceful. I think it's perfect size, because you can walk everywhere. Like, I've always been within walking distance from town and I've lived all over the place. I was currently living in the Grand Hotel, which is a student's residence. So it's very close to to walk to anywhere about the like the swimming pool or the or school, SIT I mean. Yeah, if you want to go to the beach, it's a 10 minute drive. But it's a pretty amazing beach because you can drive the whole way down it. And um, shops in there, like, it's pretty much everything you need, all in one little area. The, the supermarkets are uh, close by. And there are places within the walkable list, be it South City or be it Priyas. Even in Pack and Save, they've started selling Asian spices and stuff. It's very easy to find out here. There are many restaurants and um, takeaways that you can buy Asian stuff from. Everything is, is within walkable distance and uh, everything is centralized. Nightlife, there are many famous clubs like Baluka, Spitz. So, nightlife is also very nice. Queenstown is the best place I think I have seen ever in my life. And once in a lifetime, a person must see a 
place like Queenstown. Especially Queenstown is really, really beautiful. Yes, I like it very much. Yes. There's such wonderful places nearby, Riverton, Catlands, Milford Sound, I've been everywhere. And then it's awesome, you know? And yeah, regionally, Southland, I've yeah, loved it because I love the nature more side of things. Walking and the you know, trees, um, the penguins and that. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of it and I've really, really liked it all. This place is so lovely. You know, you've got parks nearby, you've got short hikes to do, you know, and there are a lot of uh, nice places nearby, beaches and all. Uh, in India, yeah, I hardly see a nature because it's all developing and developing because of overpopulated. But here still uh, you can see a lot of beautiful uh, seas, nature, uh, parks, everything, greenery, yeah. Sometimes you just get a degree and it's just paper-based and you can't really take that knowledge and apply it practically in your business. But with, with what I learned from SIT, you can. Every assignment, every course is so practical, you can so practically relate to it, you know. Can, you, you have a reference point and uh, yeah, it, it's kind of influencing me. I have a different perspective now. I'm still not sure about what I really want to do business or not, but at least I'm aware of the business world right now. So if you really want to get into this field, this is what you need. I think it's really, really a good school and most important is now very expensive. It's much cheaper than other schools, yes. I started my adult life here and that's pretty much become a part of me living in Invercargill and knowing all these people in a small town. Was it worth it to come here? To gain the experience that I've had, to be able to meet the people that I've met, to be to have really to to have been able to establish really solid friendships um, in such a short time? I think yeah.